Let's try this again. Come on. Come on. Let's do this. Come. Come on. Come on. Come on. You looking at me? You talking to me? You talk you talking to me? You talking to me? Are you talking to me? Talk to this. Come on. You want you want some of these? You want some of these? I don't think you're wrong, somebody. Future. Okay. Okay. Um. What? What? Um. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Just come over here. Um. Okay. <coughs> hey, um. Are you alright, buddy? I'm fine. I'm fine. I just need to warn you about something. Um, okay, what, what do you need to warn me? Is something bad gonna happen? No, 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 no. It's nothing like that. Um, because of our condition, I think it's best if I give you a little heads up on what's gonna happen. Like, basically, there's gonna be a few surprises in this week ish so I want you to mentally prepare for that okay what sort of surprises is gonna happen now that you're gonna have to experience for yourself oh okay okay um is that it like, do you need help up, or...? No, uh, no, I'm fine. I just need a bit of to, you know, catch my breath. Okay. Why? I've, uh... I've been running. From what? Honestly, I have no idea. They were wearing a mask, so... Okay, then. So you're gonna be good? It's okay if I just leave you here? Yeah, it's cool. Just go do your thing. Okay. I'm gonna leave you here. Yeah, yeah, I know. Just go. Just go. I'm going. I know. Do you want me to leave the light on? Uh, you can turn it off. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Just leave that light on. Alright. I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Oh yeah, let's do one of these. Hey, my name is Dante, and today, I must say, you look great. Note to self, 
Travel back in time to about a week ago. There's nothing in here. Why why am I lying to you? Ah, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's hanky doodly dory. So you know how when you're sitting on a couch and sometimes the stuff from your pockets like your wallet or your key or you know your ruler or just basically anything that you have in your pockets you know how those things just sort of fall through the couch cushions and then ap after about six months later you open the couch cushions to try to find a remote but, but instead of just finding the remote you find the thing that you lost six months ago plus several other things yeah well, apparently, that's just the, that's basically just the gate to this whole other dimension, which I like to call the couch dimension. Uh, let me explain. So, basically, we have the couch, and some things fall into the couch, leaving, entering this sort of area, right? Well, apparently there's another area under this, which is like way around here somewhere. And apparently into the bottom area of the couch. Now, in that bottom area is where I like to call the couch dimension. Where it'll take about, it'll take like several years before you actually, you know, get to there. The reason why I say years is because... Is because... This sandal, this sandal, apparently used to be mine. Like... Look at my foot compared to that sandal. That's like... That's like... My foot has gone like twice as long since this sandal was a thing. Like, that is tiny. Another reason why I say it's years is because of, is because of this. It's the leapfrog math game. It's the leap pad math game. And apparently my mom said that I that she used to make me play these games in order to make me learn math. Well, good job of doing that because I don't even remember the existence of this. I don't really remember a lot of my young age. I just remember smells that reminded me of my childhood and I liked those smells. Anyway, shoot, I forgot my wallet. Oh, here it is. Thanks, Money Duck. <laughs> Thank God for subtitles, am I right? Uh... Okay, so, I have a message for all of you people who do not work at a Albertsons or a Walmart or a place where you're allowed to push carts outside. So, when it comes to grocery stores, they give you these carts. Well, they don't give you these cards, but you take these carts and you go around the store, you shop in, and you're like, hmm, I think I'll buy this, and probably this. Ooh, 50% off, that's a deal and a half. Or that's half a deal. Yeah. Then you go up to the counter, you pay for the stuff, they put the stuff in plastic bags or paper bags, or they put them in your little reusable bags. Please use those recyclable bags. You're saving the environment. And then you're taking the cart outside with your groceries still in them because there's a lot of gro- because you bought a lot of groceries because there were so many good deals. And you're take- and there's so many bags that you can't really carry them all in one trip so you're taking the bags in the cart and you're um, you're go- you're- you're going outside with the cart and you're putting the bags from the cart into your car. Now, this is the message that I like to give to you. 
Um, some stores, they have this sort of corral where you're supposed to leave carts. And sometimes they're going to have corrals like this, and they're going to have corrals where there's like, uh, where it's like a divided corral. There's so many carts that you have to put some carts in here and some carts in there. And sometimes with stores, the store that I work at specifically, some carts are in different sizes. There's a small cart and there's a big cart. And when you're taking those carts outside and then putting them into those corrals and that there's a divided corral, could you please put the big carts in one area and the smaller carts in another area because if you put like big cart little cart little cart big cart little cart big cart big cart if you keep on doing that with like both sides just keep in mind that there are people who actually have to take those out reorganize them and then take them back inside not only is this making us angry but we're also gonna disrupt traffic. Some carts might be blown away by the wind and hit other cars and that's gonna make other people mad. So basically what I'm trying to say is, could you please, I know this might not go to, I know that this message might not go to a lot of people. For those of you who actually make it this far into the video, could you please put the big carts in one area and the little carts in the other area? That way it will make courtesy clerk's jobs a bit easier. It's just really making a lot of people mad. And type of thing where it's just like small cart, small cart, big cart, small cart, small cart, big cart, big cart. And then some random stranger comes in with a small cart and tries to jam it into the big cart and then the small cart slowly gets out as they're walking away and then the wind blows and it hits another car. It'll set the war back by five, by the three to five years and save thousands of lives. Okay, so please, for the good of mankind, just do it. Please do it for the good of mankind. For the good of mankind. For the good of mankind. Calm down, Ber Calm down, Bergie Jr. My sis I got my sister to make that for me. <sighs> I'm getting old. Back in my day, Blue's Clues was, a was the best show ever. Yeah, Blue's Clues was awesome. In fact, Blue's Clues was kind of one of the reasons why my favorite color is blue. Back in the day, other people might enjoy like Power Rangers, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, Dragon Ball, Z, Z, however you pronounce it. But me, my favorite show as a kid was Blue's Clues. Apparently my favorite movie as a kid was Dumbo. In fact, we had a VHS tape. If you don't know what a VHS tape is, Google it. Because apparently that's the answer to everything nowadays. VHS tapes? Google it. Predestination Paradox? Google it. Uh, who's gonna be running for president in 2017? Google it. Who ran for president in 1912? Google it. But basically, yeah. Apparently, when I was little, like before I knew how to walk, I would crawl over and climb on the shelf, put in the VHS tape into the VCR player, climb back down the shelf, crawl onto the couch, climb on the couch, press the buttons that I needed to press on the remote, and watch Dumbo. Apparently I knew how to play Dumbo before I was able to walk. You could probably tell why I don't make a whole lot of Dante's backdrops anymore because I am running out of ideas. Well, I must say that it's been a great day, but now is the time for me to say goodbye. Goodbye.